So this guy, he's kind of a pig. As you can see, he has eaten one of his siblings. You can see the tail sticking out of his mouth. In fact, he's you could say he's bitten off slightly more than he could chew. So he's struggling to breathe, but I'm sure he'll be fine. Uh, as the uh, interior end of that fish uh, gets digested, he'll probably swallow the tail and, and digest that as well. So cannibalism is rampant in the tank. And uh, ooh, I see another fish in the tank that has cannibalized one of its partners as well. And, uh, slide it over so you can see him. And there he is. Whoa! See the tail sticking out of that guy? I have a feeling that this little guy right here is in tough, tough shape. Whoa! He almost just bought the farm. You can see his brothers and sisters are uh, pretty actively seeking him out. Checking him out. Seeing if he's uh, easy prey. A lot of the bigger fish when they swim by stop and take a look. I have a sneaking suspicion he's not going to make it till the end of the day. You can see there's there's his buddy with his brother's tail sticking out of his mouth. <laughs> Sad, but kind of shows the survival of the fittest at its best, you know. I'm taking all of this on my iPhone 4. I think it's a pretty good video camera, to be honest. Let's take a look back at our friend here and see how he's making out. Maybe we'll catch the moment of his uh, inevitable demise here in the next few moments. It's not looking good for him, is it? He's real thin. He hasn't been getting the food he needs. Just inferior gene pool, I guess. Or inferior genes. And that one individual. I've switched them over to a diet of fish food pellets, but uh, for those fish that are small like this, I still include some brine shrimp flake food. I noticed that uh, guy has the tail sticking out of his mouth. He's looking at his uh, this weak one like he'd like a piece of him too. Uh, talk about a pig. Boy. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Well, maybe he'll make it. Maybe he won't. Not sure. Ooh, that guy looked at him. He's definitely in his last uh, last few hours of life. He can hardly support himself. It's really kind of sad in some ways. But I think he's, uh, he'll eventually come to a quick end. And that's life in the fish tank in room 248 at Shenango Valley High School. Mr. Breed's Science Classes.